वेलकम टू हमाद बायोलॉजी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर रूम माय नेम इज़ हमाद अहमद जान लेक्चर इन बाटनी कुरतबा यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पिशावर कैंपस हैदराबाद पिशावर द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज हारमोन्स ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट लॉब एंड पेस्टीरियर लॉब ऑफ द चुटली ग्लैंड फ्राम सेकेंड ईयर बायोलॉजी चैप्टर एटीन intermediate or median lobe of pituitary gland in human it is not very prominent it is a thin layer of cells located between the anterior and posterior pituitary lobes this lobe produce melanocyte stimulating hormone msh its secretion is regulated by hypothalamus msh inhibitory hormone the msh is secreted more in female during pregnancy external light also controls its secretion msh stimulates the melanocytes to produce and release melanin a brown pigment in the skin and hair the melanin darken the skin color particularly in pregnancy in female excess amount of msh results in addison's disease in which the skin become dark in color or black spots appear on skin posterior lobe are pars posterior posterior pituitary lobe is not glandular by itself it does not synthesize any hormone it is largely made up of axons of neurosecretory cells of hypothalamus it stores antidiuretic hormone adh also called as vasopressin and oxytocin these are released in response to nerve impulses from hypothalamus antidiuretic hormone adh anti means against and diuresis means urine production any substance which inhibits urine formation is called antidiuretic osmoreceptors in hypothalamus monitor the solute concentration of blood ADH is released when solute concentration in blood increases as a result of water loss it means ADH is produced and released during the state of dehydration decreased blood volume and low blood pressure it acts on kidneys tubules to enhance water reabsorption thus more water is reabsorbed from urine and concentrated urine is produced blood volume increases and solute concentration of blood become normal under secretion of adh causes diabetes in spedas which is characterized by excessive diluted urine production and frequent thirst or secretion may leads to the kidney problems oxytocin oxytocin means childbirth 
It is released during childbirth and in nursing women. Stretching of the uterus and cervix during parturition is a strong stimulus for its release. Low level of progesterone in blood and neural stimuli of mother during childbirth also stimulate its release. During childbirth, it is released in waves and results in labor contractions. It also causes contraction of uterine wall after birth to expel placental remains. In lactatic women, suckling causes the release of oxytocin. It causes the dilation of milk ducts of mother's mammary glands and thus promote milk ejection. Over secretion of oxytocin causes uterine wall rupturing. Under secretion of it inhibits normal labor process. Important MCQs Intermediate pituitary is a thin layer of cells located between the anterior and posterior pituitary. Intermediate pituitary lobe produces melanocyte stimulating hormone which is also called MSH. The melanocyte stimulating hormone is secreted more in female during pregnancy. External light also controls the secretion of MSH. MSH stimulates the melanocytes to produce and release melanin. Excess amount of MSH results in Addison disease. Posterior pituitary lobe is not glandular by itself, means it uh, does not produce any hormone. Posterior pituitary lobe does not synthesize any hormone. Posterior pituitary lobe stores antidiuretic hormone, which is also called as vasopressin and oxytocin hormone. ADH is released when salute concentration in blood increases as a result of water loss. ADH is produced and released during the state of dehydration, decreased blood volume and low blood pressure. Under secretion of ADH causes diabetes insipidus. Oxytocia means childbirth.